great show lined up for you because, of course, it is Fantasy Week. Uh, that's right, each and every night on Studs, we ask the question, seriously? And uh, we got a great show. These three guys, their fantasy was to date a pinup girl. So guess what? We found two and they did, so let's meet the guys. <laughs> Three-year-old contractor Dean Patterman, give him a hand. <laughs> and next to him, 29-year-old lawyer Kenneth Markman. Welcome, yeah. Kenneth. Come over here. <laughs> and <laughs> way down at the end, 35-year-old legal services company owner Philip Kaufman. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, so, what kind of woman do you normally like, Philip? What kind of women? Um, I like a woman who is. Um, Honest and sincere. Uh, I, I love a woman with uh, beautiful eyes that kind of grab you. And a great body, of course. Sure, all right. Sounds good. <laughs> so, Kenneth, how about you? What kind of woman, uh, you're a lawyer, right? Yeah. What kind of woman do you like? I like uh, women that are very sarcastic, dry wit, uh, red hair, black hair, exotic looking. Somebody who looks like maybe Sarah Jessica Parker. Uh huh. <laughs> Dean, you're a contractor. Yes, sir. Meet a lot of women in that line of work? Uh, not really. Well, where do you meet women? <laughs> Halfway. <laughs> I love that. Well, this is Fantasy Week, and I think both of our women have gone more than that. Let's meet them, Mim and Anna. Bring them out. Good to meet you. Anna, good to meet you. Have a seat, ladies. Right next to me, 23 year old model and bon vivant Mim Parker. Give her a big hand. Twenty-five year old Anna Limbertini, give her a big hand. All right, now, now, now before the show, you, you know how this works. Whoever has more of these hearts is Queen Stud, you go on a date with people. Now, before the show, they told me that you both have been in a very famous national men's magazine whose name we cannot say. Right. Ma'am, mom, where are your eyes looking the first time you meet a guy? Is this in a bedroom or in a bar? Just anywhere. Wherever you see them. Probably the eyes, because I want him to think I'm looking at him and his face, but then it would go down. Really? Yeah. To what? To a certain area. <laughs> All right, well, we asked these guys what they were thinking the first time they saw you, Mim. And uh, here's what they told us. One of them said, she's exotic, she's erotic, she's totally hypnotic. <laughs> next to her, uh, the next guy said, one peek at those perfect legs and I wished I was pantyhose. <laughs> And the third guy said, they're more than breasts, they're my reason for living. <laughs> she's exotic, she's erotic, she's totally hypnotic. I would say Dean. Oh, Dean. No. Oh. oh. What'd you say, Dean? I said one peek at those uh, perfect legs and I wished I was panting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> would you be sandal foot or uh, what would you be if you were pantyhose? Uh, totally sheer. Totally sheer? <laughs> yeah. What'd you, where'd you meet her first? Like her house, your house? My house. Uh-huh. What was she wearing? Uh, she had these cowboy boots, little uh, black jean shorts, black leather jacket, little Elton John sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Kind of a hip-hop thing. <laughs> All right. Well, we're moving on. You don't get a heart. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Anna. What impresses you the first time you meet a guy? What do you see? What do you, what do you hook up with? He's got to have a mouth. He's got to be sarcastic. And he's got to uh, be able to take what I can dish. We asked these guys what impression you left on them. And here's what they told us. Anna, one of them said, this babe's so hot, she melted my zipper. <laughs> Second guy said, I wanted to go on safari through that sexy jungle of hair. <laughs> And the third guy said, the only thing that mouth was missing was my tongue in it. The only thing that mouth was, uh, was, that was missing, the only thing that mouth was missing was my tongue in it. You know which one you mean, Anna. <laughs> it's Ruth and Wrong um, would be Phil. Yep. There you go. Hey. What do you mean, Phil? Well, she has these, um, Beautiful, pouty, you know, lips. They're just very full and sensual. <laughs> go again there. This babe's so hot, she melted my zipper. Or I wanted to go on safari through that sexy jungle of hair. This babe's so hot, she melted my zipper. It would have to be Ken. 
Nope. <laughs> You wanted to go on a safari? I had, I had my safari clothes out, and I was ready to... Sure. <laughs> How that elephant got in your pajamas, you don't know. <laughs> nice, of you, nice of you to notice, though. Yeah, well, you know, it's the lighting. Um, where'd you meet her? We met at The Gap, which is a uh, clothing store. <laughs> yeah. Which is uh, where all great dates originate. Sure. Yeah. And uh, we shot some pool and had a few drinks uh -huh. and uh, had a good time. Do you fun got to talk to, Anna? Oh, at first, no. Why? No, we didn't hit it off at first. Actually, we weren't going to go on a date. Um, but did things get better? It was horrendous until we met. Well, it, so on the phone, he's no good. We were married before we met. And then once, <laughs> once we met, it, it went really well. Really, really well. You were, really, really well. You were married before you met. Oh, we argued like Oh, you like argued no like you were married. Like no other. He had to start it over because I wouldn't. Does she have a mouth on him? Uh, you know it. Does she have a mouth on her? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How about that? We'll find out what happened. Uh, when we Can't say the name. National Men's Magazine. I can't say. Welcome back to Fantasy Week. Three guys dated pinup girls from a National Men's Magazine, which we cannot say the name of. Mim! You like, you like to go on dates that it's all just planned out, boom, 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 or you like to roll with the punches and just play around? No, I have to play. Boy, oh, that's fun. I, if a guy has an itinerary and he's got certain things he wants to do, that's fine, but I'll shock him by pulling him over. If we're going on a long drive, I'll pull him over and kiss him or something unexpectedly. Uh-huh. What's the wildest thing you've done like that on a first date? Whoa. <laughs> oh. It was the night I lost my virginity. <laughs> it was on a And how old were you? I was 18. Uh. It was on a highway in the middle of the afternoon after church. What highway? 395. 395. Yes! Good highway! <laughs> All right, well, we asked these guys what happened on these particular dates with you. One of them said, she put it in my mouth and told me to swallow. <laughs> Second guy said, a beautiful meal, a beautiful woman, a beautiful night. Aww. Third guy said, one quick snap and her dress opened wide. <laughs> snap and her dress open wide would be Phil. Yes. Phil! <laughs> Talk to me, Phil. Where was this? Um, it was on our way to the sushi bar. And um, it, well, she had this clasp in the bas back that pulled her dress together and it kept popping open and, you know, just everything would, you know. Cut low in the front? Uh, it was cut very low. Um, it was a beautiful dress. Very, so why very was it clasped sexy. in the back? To, just um, for fashion. Yeah, to make it oh, like fit that. better and fashion. Well, right, we get to go again there. She put it in my mouth and told me to swallow, or a beautiful meal, a beautiful woman, a beautiful night. She put it in my mouth and told me to swallow. Dean. No. Dean! <laughs> What'd you say, Dean? I said it was a beautiful meal, a beautiful woman, and a beautiful night. Tell me about it. We went out to Palm Springs. Mm hmm And uh, it was beautiful. She was beautiful. Uh, after she came to my house, she changed. Into and, what? Uh, she was wearing the other shorts, the leather jacket, and she changed into a dress mm -hmm. and the heels. And she went from looking 16 to 26 in about five minutes. How long a drive is it out to Palm Springs there on that highway? It was about two hours from here. Yeah, what'd you talk about? Oh, uh, oh, you mean down to Palm Springs? Everything and anything. Yeah? Yeah, we got from playful to serious. Fun I didn't pull him over and kiss him, though. That ah. was later. I call the shots. Anna, how do you impress a date when you're out with them? What do you do? Wine up, dine Who else is impressed? <laughs> All right, well, uh, we asked these guys if anything impressive happened uh, on this date, and on these dates, and um, here's what they said. One of the guys said, five minutes into the meal, and she was telling me her fantasies. Second guy said, for a little girl, she sure can hurl. <laughs> and the third guy said, before I could whip mine out, hers was on the table. Yeah! For a little girl, she sure can hurl. That would have to be Phil. Yep. Phil, there you go. <laughs> Why'd you say that, Phil? 
Well, she had gotten a real bad headache, and we were going to go to this real nice restaurant to eat, and the headache got worse, and we stopped at the Hollywood Diner to eat. And, it's actually uh, hilarious. She, <laughs> tell the whole story. <laughs> While she was in the restroom, four girls tried to pick her up, but then a little bit later, she got Let's sick. hear about that. You're in the bathroom, <laughs> four girls hit on you. I couldn't do, you know, I couldn't feel comfortable in the bathroom because I had four ladies in there with me. Yeah, so, that always <laughs> makes me nervous. <laughs> so we went across the street because I needed to fill up my car with gas. And then um, this, um, there was no bathroom at the gas station, so I was running across the street with a man that I didn't know into a go-go bar to use their bathroom. And then I came out, and he was totally oblivious as to what happened. Um, as am I. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, um, I felt better after When I did you hurl? In the go-go bar. Oh, all right. In the go-go bar. We finally got there. Five minutes into the meal, and she was telling me her fantasies, or before I could whip mine out, hers was on the table. Um, five minutes into the meal, and she was telling me her fantasies would have to be Dean. There you go, oh, Dean. Oh, oh, finally, you're hooking up. She's got this fantasy about skydiving, and uh, she wants to skydive out of a plane. Good choice. Bungee. Bungee. First, it's a bungee jump. When she hits the bottom of the bungee cord, the cord releases, and then she parachutes from there on down. What's the point of the bungee? When you bungee, when you jump bungee backwards and, and you're falling, yeah, and you, you're just falling and falling, and you snap and you run into a parachute, and it, or you hop into a parachute. Uh-huh. That would make me hurl. <laughs> <laughs> Mim. Yes? How do you know when it's time to get romantic on a date? When all my buttons are pushed. <laughs> When he so starts... you're like a car radio then? Yeah, yeah. How do you, when what buttons? the station's right. Uh huh. And uh, definitely when he stops being cocky and starts, his tone of voice changes, his breathing changes. We asked these guys if anything romantic happened on these dates, Mim, and here's what they told us. One guy said, "My body was busting while our lips were lusting." <laughs> Second guy said, "Let's just say soap wasn't the only thing bubbling up in our tongue." <laughs> And the third guy said, gee, I never knew a mattress could make that much noise. Uh, oh. woo -woo, right? um, let's see. Let's just say soap wasn't the only thing bubbling. Uh, would have to be Ken. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> You want to know about this, don't you? Uh, duh. <laughs> well, <laughs> during dinner, we consumed every known aphrodisiac to man. <laughs> Such as? Oysters, Oysters. Champagne. She has a thing for chocolate, so we had mud pie, cappuccino, coffee, uh, coffee beans. And we went to the, <laughs> back to where we were staying, because it was out of town. And I suggested that maybe we should go swimming or take a jacuzzi. And next thing I know, I walk into the bathroom, and there's a big bubble bath there. So, you know, not being one to go with the flow, so to speak, yeah. we went with the flow, so to speak. Uh -huh. And I was like, you know, I had a towel, because I didn't have a bathing suit. Oh. So I put a towel on, and I kept telling him to turn around. I kept telling her to I'm not look. I was like, don't look, suit. don't look. I'm going to drop the towel. Don't look, don't look. So I dropped it when I got in. So he you're in the tub, boy. and where were you? He was in the tub. <laughs> How'd the date end up, man? Uh, in the morning, he drove me back to my agent's house, because I had a flight out the next morning. Mm. OK. Sounds pretty good. And if our cue card guy will stop chewing on the cards, we will proceed. <laughs> <laughs> the ink is running. I can't even read now, Scott. Nice shade of red. My body was busting while our lips were lusting, or, gee, I never knew a mattress could make that much noise. Gee, I never knew a mattress could make that much noise would be Dean. No. Oh! 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 What did you say, Dean? I said uh, my body was busting while my lips were lusting. Why'd she think you said the mattress thing? You know, I have no idea. I bet you do. Ah! Why do you think, Dean? Yeah. Why'd you say that, Mim? Because at one point in time, we were on his bed. Uh-huh. Oh. Any bubbles? No bubbles. Tons of squeaking, though, on his bed. Woo! I had lost some change down behind, and we were looking for it. I think that's the next date. Did you find it? Oh, yeah. Oh. Every single penny. <laughs> Anna, how about you? What do you do to get romantic on a date? Zip, snip, and drop. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so you're a barber. 
Uh, well, we asked the guys if there was any romance on your dates with them, Anna, and here's what they told us. One guy said, when she hit the bed, my hands hit her butt. Woo! Second guy said, those luscious lips made for one tasty treat. <laughs> and the third guy said, nothing says loving like Anna on the oven. <laughs> Hit or bod, would he have to be Phil? Yes. There you go. Phil, let's find out. Well, like I said, she was feeling pretty bad, had a bad headache, so we went back to the hotel room um, that I was staying at on Hollywood Boulevard, and um, I massaged her back and neck and head and was trying to make her feel better. Mm -hmm. You know? Did he? Yes, he did. Good. All right. Sounds like a lot of fun. You get to go it again was. there. Those luscious lips made for one tasty treat or nothing, says loving, like Anna on the oven. Oh, God. Um, nothing says loving like Anna on the oven would have to be Kenny. Nope. Oh! oh. Although Maybe. I wish. <laughs> what did you say, Kenneth? I said uh, that uh, the thing about the lips, she has the most incredible, incredibly sensuous lips. They're just really full and pouty and... Yeah? She a good kisser? Uh, yeah. Why? Because she was kissing me. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. Well, come on back. We're going to find out which one of these ladies is going to bungee jump from the helicopter. Oh, God, I poked somebody's eye out. Don't go away. Fantasy week. Three guys, <laughs> two pinup girls for a national men's magazine that we can't say. So, if you're done playing around, boy, let's get busy. Mim, according to these three guys, who's most likely to make a Valentine for her mom, you or Anna? Myself. She says her. Guys? Anna. Oh, oh, why, Philip? Um, Anna talked about her mom a whole lot on our date. As a matter of fact, while we were in Venice Beach, she bought a purse for her. Really? And yeah, she's talking about going, uh, setting up a, a little business with her mom, a bridal boutique, and et cetera. Yeah. Cool. All right. Anna, who's most likely to cry at Beauty and the Beast, you or Mim? Mim. Mim. <laughs> Guys? Mim. There you go. All right. Min is, is, she's very emotional. I think she'd probably cry at the Terminator. I mean, she's just... <laughs> she, she, Min! <laughs> Sad, you gotta cry at that. Who's most likely to bungee jump from a helicopter, you or Anna? Yeah. Slam dunk, guys. Anna. Of course, she was talking about it before. Why, Pat? <laughs> Well, first of all, that's what she actually wanted to do on our date, which, uh, without clothes, which, she's very uh, adventurous. Without what I'm clothes? To say. Yeah. Just, well, the cord. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Anna, who's most likely, uh, who's most likely to do a strip tease for money? Uh, why, Dean? <laughs> During our conversation at dinner, she got into telling me a little story about what happened between her and a bottle of tequila down in Mexico one night. Oh, no. And uh, she ended up uh, doing it a little a strip dare. for the, uh, the rest of the dare. bar. Mim, who's most likely to pick up a man on the freeway? Oh, God. <laughs> I think that's a gimme for you. <laughs> When she left my house, we were both heading in the same direction, and uh, we were kind of causing a traffic jam on the freeway because we just stayed next to each other and flirted. Uh-huh. So to speak. Anna! <laughs> Who's most likely, Anna, to tattoo her boyfriend's name on her butt? Probably me. Guys? Me. Oh! oh! Why, Philip? Because Mim has a tattoo on her ankle. It's a little barbed wire, and as a matter of fact, I have one too, and we uh, compared them on our date. Any other tattoos on you? No. Anna, any tattoos on you? Not yet. <laughs> oh, come on back. Maybe she'll have one by the time we return and find out which one of these ladies is the biggest stud act. Don't go away. Welcome back, welcome back. It's Fantasy Week. Three guys. Female pinups from a National Men's Magazine that we can't say. And you have how many hearts, Mim? Four. And Anna? Six. Six, so that would be more. So we're going to start with you, Mim. Here's the deal. Tell us who you want to go out with again. If, she, if he picks you, you get to go and we pay for it. Well, I didn't pick Ken. I thought Ken was a sweetie. But 
There was no romance there. Okay. Or playfulness. I didn't pick Dean. He also is a sweetheart. I picked Phil. Phil! Like yeah. that! Very honest, very much a gentleman. Lots of fun. Okay, well, if uh, Honest Dave over here picks you, where are you going to go? <laughs> Puerto Vallarta. Ah. Yes. Anna, you're in the lead. You have more hearts, so go ahead. Well, I, I didn't pick Dean. Um, we had a great time, uh, but he lives way far away. Mm. I didn't pick Phil um, because uh, things went off great in the beginning, but uh, not so good at the end. Um, but I did pick Kenny. Kenny! The day you started off in hell. Well, if he picks you, where are you going to go? I was thinking about Jamaica. Ooh. Neither of the ladies picked you. Dean, did you have a good time on these dates? I had a great time. All right, well, who'd you pick? I Mim! All right, Mim picked Phil. Phil, if you picked Mim, then you could be off on a fabulous trip to Puerto Vallarta with a palindrome. What's it going to be? Um. Oh! Oh! Anna. All right, Kenneth, it's all up to you if you want to make this fantasy show come true. If you picked Anna, you were going to uh, to J Jamaica. Jamaica. If not, no Jamaica one's going news. anywhere. What's it going to be? <laughs> Yaman. Yeah, Hello. Yeah! Go and give him a kiss right there. You go. That was the show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, yo, what promotional fee has been paid by the following? New Leaf Press On Body Tattoo. Press On a Fashion Statement. Last for Days, Easy Off. Press On Fun. Lee Press On Tattoo. Paul Mitchell. You may have seen our name in other outlets. Don't be confused. Paul Mitchell Salon Hair Care, available only in fine salons. St. I's Swiss Formula Apricot Scrub. St. I's Swiss Formula polishes your complexion beautifully, naturally. St. I's Swiss Formula Apricot Scrub.